I'm gonna get you and Christine if she's able if she's mobile again. I mean, <laughs> bring this, Christine. It's Christine's on point. She just says the right amount, you know, not too much, not too little. Well, welcome, welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Stamps.com. The summer is showing welcoming signs of a more normal life ahead. Finally, you can get back to enjoying life's little pleasures, like smiling at your neighbors, seeing a movie, and going to the post office. Okay, some parts of normal life aren't so great, but with Stamps.com, you can skip those trips to the post office and save on postage, mail, and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Send letters, ship packages, pay less, a lot less, With discounted rates from USPS, UPS, Stamps.com saves businesses thousands of hours and tons of money every year. Stamps.com brings the same U.S. postal and UPS shipping services right to your computer. Makes it easy to save a lot of time and a lot of money. Stamps.com is a no-brainer, saving nearly 1 million small business owners like you time and money. Stop wasting time going to the post office and go to Stamps.com instead. There's no risk. With our promo code MOM, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in MOM. That's Stamps.com, promo code MOM. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. What's up there, Chomo? Hey, how's it going there, Chomos? It's great to be back for another fun-filled episode of your mom's house, Palmcast. You just lost your life. Hopefully you didn't. Um, I'm here, of course, and with me, as always, is my lovely co-host, Christina P. I really like your shirt. Looks like it's some of our new merch. That Tom G mashup, the TG mashup, really cool. I'm feeling it. I'm liking it. It feels like slick stuff, neat stuff, and raw stuff. Um, there's all kinds of great things happening in today's episode. I'm very happy to be here with the great team. I have a great guest coming. Um, but, and remind me, by the way, I got to tell you something about G that finally happened. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, can't wait to hear this. Just as soon as, the, as right after the break here, remind me. Um, where is the uh, thing I wanted to play? It's here. Okay, so uh, let's just get right into it. Let's get right into the opening clip and uh, get into the show. Here you go. Hello, my name is Jeff McCann. I'm running for mayor of Mobile, Alabama, baby. Hey, I ain't sending my makeup. I'm still gonna run. Now I'm running for the mayor. I promise you. Why did you take the vehicle? Man, if I had a woman like you, I wouldn't even took it. Come on, just. But I took it because God told me to. And guess what? God helped me do everything. I steal everything, man. I stole you. I steal your heart, baby. Come on, Jeff. Let's get in, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mama in the fucking stand! Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Jeffrey is full of charisma, man. I mean, he's being taken out of a jail cell or the jail transported, and he's like, if I had a woman like you, I wouldn't steal it. <laughs> Come on. I love this guy. He's like, I'll steal your heart. Isn't that funny, Christina? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I think there was, was there a second clip there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why'd y'all sell the That's car, man? That's a friend. Oh. Did you take it? 
Hey. Hey. No, I did it, man. He ain't do shit. Oh, it's I did everything. Step across. Step across. I did everything. Hey, look, when I get out, I'm going to steal the police car. <laughs> Jeffrey's the shit. I really like him. This guy's no fun. This guy came out. Yeah, he doesn't even want to play. Jeffrey's no, firing on Jeffrey's all cylinders. Jeffrey's like, I did everything. I like that. That's 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 fucking fun. I see your heart, baby. If you steal shit, like you knowingly steal shit, and then you go, and I'll steal your heart. Yeah, I'm a fan. I believe him. I believe him too. I bet you he's got a long list of ladies he's been with. Yeah. Absolutely, stolen every single heart. He's stolen every heart. I'm such a fan of Jeffrey. Jeffrey, when you get out, you give us a shout, okay? You got it. You have it, man. He's got that thing. You can't. How, how much time do you think he's doing? I don't know how much time he's. Uh, oh, how much? I thought you meant like on stage. I'm like, oh. I was like fucking. Probably start with five minutes. Um, I don't know. I mean, he's clearly in the system. They're like, hey, Jeffrey. <laughs> they, they know him, but this isn't a violent crime, I think. You know? Right. With good behavior, maybe we'll see him in like two, three years. Yeah, maybe, maybe less. Maybe less. I hope you have a short bid, bud. Um, very funny, Jeffrey. Very funny. So much. Uh, so much. To get in. Oh, yeah. I want to tell you about G. Yeah. What's going on with that? Can you pull up G's Instagram? So what used to happen is I would, I didn't, I would just go there and read stuff sometimes, you know, the comments, and it would be really funny. Every once in a while, I would post, I would comment and what I noticed is that my comment could get liked a bunch, but con like it would, and then it would be like a hundred comments underneath it. But if you went to read them, they would all be gone. Like they had just kind of like, I don't know, put some type of shadow ban. Yeah. Now <laughs> my comment appears or I could see it. No likes, no nothing. So now Ooh. it's completely. Welcome right? to being restricted. <laughs> yeah. So if you hit, can you hit that latest one there? I wonder if you can even see that it's there. Maybe you can't. Does it? Does no, nah, the way it works is only it's only visible to, to me. You. Oh, okay, yeah. So so mine's not even there anymore. That is hilarious. But that also means that they upped it one. Like you know, what I mean, that used to have leave. It used to be visible, and and like you could see the likes, and now it's. But they haven't. They didn't block me, which is like you could block somebody. Well, yeah, they don't want to hurt your feelings. Well, but what they didn't realize is that this has really upset me. So. What are we going to do? Well, we're not going to do anything. But I don't like this, G. I don't like that everyone's having fun without me. And I think you should unrestrict T-Buns from commenting on your account. And I sure hope that the people who listen to this and comment don't encourage you to unrestrict me. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. I just want to be part of the fun. I want to have a good time again, man. Well, this feels like it's leading to the most fun we've ever had with Garth. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to find out, G. You're about to find, you got, I got friends in some high places. How about that shit? Cannot believe that. He fucking restricted me. Do you think he even knows what's going on? I think he hired people to find out what's going on. You think he ever looks at his comments and he's like, what the fuck? Well, because like, I mean, that's what's, like, what's happened is for years, yeah. you know that he's been confused. Him and his whole team are just like, what are all these sentences that don't make sense to us? Yeah, why? None of this makes any sense. And for the first time, I think like a month ago, because I think I was telling a friend about this, I'm like, look, man, we've never asked people to do this, but let me show you G's account. And I would scroll, and this was the first time where on the second scroll, I found something that wasn't like a YMH reference. Yeah. I was just like a, oh, all right, genuine comments are starting to bleed through now. He must be like coming up, getting onto it. Oh. Yeah, I think it's it's finally come to a point where he's like, I need to do something. Maybe he restricted things like, where are the bodies and stuff like that, like those phrases. There's definitely words that he is now banned. Well, I'll tell you what, G. Catch my camera through the fence, you faggot. Fuck. So, yeah. Oh, that's great. That's actually one of these comments right here. Oh, really? Touch my camera through the front, Garth. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. The comments are the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Sometimes when I just need a laugh, 
I just go here to read. I mean, look at these. It's like, I got a DUI, baby. Saka Souffle. What does that one say? Oh, that just says site. I think that's probably just a bot. But uh, I mean, like any of you these. You bet I'm coming up in May. <laughs> Garth, what did you do to Christina? Where's my family, Garth? That's where it spits. What did you, why did you hurt Christina? Don't be skin, stingy, G. Home here now. <laughs> what did you do to Christine? Yeah, I mean, it's just like, it's always, it's like page after page. You scroll every single thing. It's really the, it's the most wholesome fun I've ever had on social media. Just Hol knowing that this exists. Wholesome's the only way to describe it. It is wholesome. It's so fun. It's so sweet. Garth. Show me that you like me. Unrestrict my account. Don't be stingy. Come on, man. What are the chances that they unrestrict me? I mean, if we get a campaign going, what uh, what hashtag you want? Justice for Tom? <laughs> Justice for Tom is good. Unban, unrestrict Tom. Unrestrict Tom. Unrestrict Tom's a good one. G, unrestrict T. There you go. Leave T alone, G. <laughs> that might be my favorite one so far. Um, God damn it. I cannot believe you did that, G. Mm. Uh, well, hopefully... Hopefully he gets, he's going to get the message. Hopefully the team unrestricts me. Without a doubt, yeah. Yeah, and I'm not writing like curse words or anything on his page. Yeah, I wonder how they connected the dots. Because I mean like. They connected them. But I mean we're able to see all these, like none of these you, uh, like uh, accounts are restricted. What's, the, net, what's the previous post say? Like the one before this? What's that one? Yeah, what's that one? Oh, that's when he got his Kennedy Center honor, right? Yeah, you know what's a banana split? <laughs> yep. Well, somebody oh, here we go. All oh, right, James Taylor, though, gave him the hearts. Yep. And I'm going to make you cry <laughs> right underneath it. Everything else. <laughs> I'll make you sleep for three days, my baby. You bet I'm coming up in May. Show me where it spits. What? <laughs> that's funny that I know <laughs> how that's meant to be said. There's ones that you're just like, oh, that's just a word. You're like, no, 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 no that's no. a reference. <laughs> that's a reference, too. Yeah. That's what <laughs> just like somebody could just write different and then we know what that means. Yeah. I feel like um, this guy doesn't get a, a, as much love as he should. Live life 365. The 365 guy, you know, work hard, play hard. Yeah. So he's getting lots of representation in the G comments. He sure is. Yeah. This is America, right? That's right, Garth. Unrestrict me. Leave T alone, G. So hold on. So run me through, uh, run me through when you found out where the fir the thought first popped in your head where you're like, something's fishy. So it was months ago where I wrote something. I saw that it was liked a bunch and I saw that there were like a hundred comments underneath it and I went to see what they were. Like, oh, what did people write underneath it? And every time you hit comment, um, it would show less comments and then you could read none of them. So I was like, oh, none of the comments underneath my comment are visible. So you couldn't read any of the comments that responded to you? They responded to my comment. Right. I could read everything else. Just not ones that were talking to you. Right. Yeah, and I was like, oh. But also it was, it was still liked, like, you know, 900 times or something. I didn't post again for like, on his thing for like two months. And the same thing happened again. I wrote the comment. It was liked a bunch. There were comments, but when you went to read them, nothing. So I was like, oh, it's some type of like, it's some level of restriction. And then the last one that I noticed was the one on the, on the latest post where I wrote something and then I went back to see it and there was zero likes, zero activity. I was like, oh, they, they restricted me. So you started at probably confusion. You were there for a few seconds. Yeah. And then how quickly did you go to, and I don't know if this is, did you go to anger or happiness when you found out you were restricted? No, I was depressed. I was so yeah, sad. I was sad. So how quickly from confused to sad did you go? Uh, it took me, it took me a moment. I mean, at first I was like, wait, what? Like, no, nobody. And then I was like, oh, it's not, no one's seeing this. I'm not allowed to participate anymore. And, okay. then, and then I got bummed out. 
How dare they take away your fun? It's the most fun I've ever had. And it's wholesome. Like it's hurting no one. It does not hurt. <laughs> it does not hurt them. He He's not aware of. Come on. What is this? Hurting his stadium sales? <laughs> how, how much money do you think he's put into trying to clean up his Instagram account? I don't know. Because there's no way that number's zero. <laughs> I don't think he's aware of what's being spent. I think the team is just like, we got to do something about this. Do you think the team scrambles? Where's his like, other, what, what other social media does he have? Well, Facebook, I think. He's got to be big on Facebook. Right? I mean, that's, that's, that seems like a real, that's the right place for a Garth. That's where all the Garth fans are. Yeah. Let's see what these comments are like. Yeah. <laughs> are those normal? Yep. Yep, these these seem like genuine comments. Well, right. guys, Facebook.com slash Garth Brooks if you want sounds to. Sounds like we kind of make <laughs> need to make a company move. Okay, listen to me, Garth. You've just ruined your life. Okay. As far as his job goes. As far as your job goes. This is not a threat. Okay. You're fired, okay? You didn't follow Proto. Yeah, your comments on Facebook are going to look a lot different real soon. And I'm all for it. And I better not be restricted there. Oof. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait for this. <laughs> I really can't. I know. It's going to be really fun. No, yeah, this is the new cycle. It's, you know, we've, I've been waiting for it. And let me tell you something. You ban me there, G, we'll fucking find you. I will find you on TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter. You can go back and open a fucking MySpace account. I'll, go, I'll be there too. You cut me out of the fun, I'm going to make fun. I'm really not happy about this. We got to make this right. We got to make it right. Um, all right. Um, we will be back in a moment with our guests. Very excited. And uh, yeah, here's a quick break. This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by Best Fiends. When you need a break from contemplating the big questions, it's time to take on a puzzle that's meant to be solved, like the literally thousands of puzzle-solving levels on Best Fiends. And unlike Mulling over the mysteries of the universe, Best Fiends leaves your brain feeling refreshingly challenged. Christina is on this thing all the time. She absolutely loves Best Fiends. I see her on it everywhere we go. We sit down anywhere she sits on the couch. We're in a waiting room. Anywhere we sit down, Christina's on Best Fiends. Best Fiends has tons of puzzles to solve. And unlike other matching puzzle games, Best Fiends has variety and, you know, strategy. The downside, she can't stop playing. It's like every sound, every character is now a part of our life from Best Fiends because Christina is literally so in love with this game. Download the five-star rated puzzle game Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. This episode is also brought to you by Squarespace. Who are you without a website? You are lost. It's time to get a website going. Take your cool idea, turn it into a website. Your business, it needs to be a website. Showcase your work, sell products, promote your physical or online business, announce an upcoming, upcoming event or a social project or a party. You can all do it with a website and that website can be yours very quickly with Squarespace. Beautiful templates created by world-class designers. You customize the look and the feel, the settings and the product with just a few clicks, optimized for mobile right out of the box. A new way to buy domains and choose from over 200 extensions, analytics that help you grow in real time, and of course, 24-7 award-winning customer support. Make it yourself. Easily create a website by yourself. Head to squarespace.com mom for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code mom to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And we're back, and so is our guest coming back for a second time 
the great, the mighty, the powerful, the hilarious Russell Peters is here, everybody. Did you read that? Yep, I read it right in the camera. It's in the camera. <laughs> um, yeah, it's good to see you, man. Thank Hi, you. Tommy. Hi, it's good to see you, brother. You too. Christina's looking tired. This is the best she's ever looked, in my opinion. <laughs> She's she really Hungarian she looking today. She contributes throughout the show. Yeah. The tits are out and the mouth is open and that's what we like to see. <laughs> but her toes are away and that really sucks. Eh, that's too bad. <laughs> Let's pull up some good feet to look at. <laughs> <laughs> Not now. Not now. All right. All right. All right. We'll get to it. Um, dude, you are, I, I've been wanting to, I don't know if everybody knows this, like how I met you. I met you, dude, I think it was, oh, six. Was it oh six? It was oh six. West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach Improv. Um, I have... Then you took me to... Well, we did a bunch of dates here. You took me to England, which was Mm -hmm. wild. That was good. It's kind of... like I keep thinking about how the longer that I do stand-up and and, and just work in this business, the more you go like, holy shit, when somebody has longevity. Like they stay, you know, doing it and putting it out. Like, do you... Do you feel like, because you have been on top of stuff for so long, like, is it just that you put in the work? Is that basically as simple as it is? Well, you got to put in the work. Excuse me. No matter what you do, you got to put in the work. Yeah. That's always, you know, you know that. Of course. So that goes without saying. But then my, um, I don't want to call them my fan base. I say the people that come and see me. Yeah. (laughs) They're very loyal to me. And I'm very loyal to them. You know, and everyone's always coming, you know, especially in the world we live in now, everyone's like, Russell, are you going to be able to still do this type of comedy you do because oh, of, right. you know, the world we live in? Are you going right. to, are you going to change? I'm like, I've been doing it 32 years. I can't fucking change now. No. And the people that are coming to see me are coming to see me do just that. Yeah. I mean, the cancel people were never going to come see you or I. Right. They weren't, they didn't give a shit about us. All they want to do is cancel us. They don't, sure. They were never going to buy a ticket. So we're not losing a ticket to them. And you, they couldn't cancel you if they wanted to. Oh, they could. I'm sure they could they try. They could try, but like <clears throat> they'd have to fabricate something and really to. Yeah, but also the people that come to see you would be like, "I'm still going to see them." Yeah, and I talk about it at the shows now, so it's nice. Yeah, I tell them, you know, if I change, uh, I'm going to lose you, and I'm not going to gain new people. Right. I'm just going to really lose my my audience because I got scared of this the fucking gooch because it's the invisible bully. Yeah. Do you do you feel that thing though of like? I've been it's it's been going so well for so long. Does that does that like fuck with you at some point? Like, um, how could this keep going? That that's more the question really? I ask myself. I'm like, how the fuck does this keep going? Yeah. Oh, really? They want me? They still and still sold out. I'm like, oh, that's amazing. It is and, amazing. I'm like, I just did eight shows in in Irvine all weekend. Right. You know, we added two extra shows. Yeah. You know, extra show Thursday, extra show and Friday. You're like, this is still going. And it's still going, and it was it was great. You know, yeah. that's why my voice is a little. Uh, Shetland yeah. pony today. It's a little horse. Here's the thing. I always feel like um, as thrilling as it is to do like the big, big shows, you know, like it's obviously amazing. There's still nothing like a great club weekend. Oh, yeah. If club? you're a comedian, it's like, yeah, it's the best. It takes you back to your roots. Yeah. It makes you feel normal again. Yeah. But then you get a nice big paycheck at the end. You're like, ah, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I felt normal and I feel great again. <laughs> <laughs> and you fucking you really because I've seen you obviously live a bunch of times. Like you actually talk to people and I've, I've seen, I've watched you like build stuff on stage. Yeah. You know, that's, by like, that's, that's how I write. Yeah. Right. But I mean like you'll engage people, not every, some people, I mean, figure stuff up on stage, but you'll do it also while talking to people. Right. Like the material comes from those conversations. Yeah. That's uh last night, you know, I'm, cause that's, you know, there's always the same way that we all do the same shit. We'll write it. We'll figure it out. Then we'll say it, and then while we're saying it each night, we'll say it slightly different just to see yeah. if we come up with the right variation. Last night I came up with something. I've been doing this, working on this bit for about six months, seven months now, and last night I said something different. I go, there it is, there right it is. there. That's yeah. the best feeling. <clears throat> I go, God, why didn't I think of that before? Yeah, yeah. the best feeling is is like, God, There's sometimes there's bits I work on for like a year or more, and I get married to saying it that way. Yeah. And then usually it's actually because I forgot and, yeah or i'm not paying attention in the moment yep and i say something different or my mind just goes this way and then you're like oh there's the answer yeah there it is much better there so it's such a like it's such a unique people who don't do it never understand that feeling yeah like it is euphoria oh yeah last night like i'm i'm still buzzing about it yeah. right now yeah <clears throat> or you get one of those lines if you figure it out on friday 
And Saturday you show up, people are like, you're in a good mood. You're like, yeah, I figured out a word last night. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Or you say it right, yeah. and then you go to say it again, then you screw it up the next time. Yeah. Like, oh, what like, the fuck, fuck did, did I just I do? do? Yeah. yeah. Do you write things down? Not really. Not, not really, no. no. I'll make a note in my phone. I have a ton of notes of unfunny things that I've written <laughs> yeah. down. Yeah. I've done that. The other thing I've done is I get high, and I, uh, I do voice notes. Like, I'll talk. And at the time, <laughs> I'll be like, this is... <laughs> some high level comedy shit that is gold and yeah. then the next day you're listening to it and you're like oh my god i have to delete this make sure no <laughs> one ever hears this it's like embarrassing to myself to hear myself stone being like and then you know like just ramble on and on thinking that i'm coming up with some brilliant concept i wrote is- a joke 25 years ago i was driving to a gig and i thought it was the funniest joke ever and to this day, it's never even gotten a smile. Not even a smile. So I don't even bother with it. But it was, I was driving, I was driving, it was in the middle of nowhere. And there's a big empty field and it had a sign that said, lots for sale. And I was like, yeah. lots of what? <laughs> and that, that was it. That was the whole show. <laughs> and I, no wonder it doesn't work. It's not fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you used, I remember that you used to encourage me to do this joke that would get me into trouble. Which one? <laughs> Latino computers. Oh, that's my favorite. I tell people that joke all the time. <laughs> really? I go, they people go, get so mad at me, man. That's my favorite. I tell people that joke all the time. They go, they go. Uh, What's Tom act like before? I go. He used to have this really great joke about Latino computers. It was. A, it was a. Pl- it was a place on. I want to say it was on Vine or between Vine and Fountain. You know, between Fountain and like Santa Con- and it was called Latino Computers. That's what it said on a sign. So I, uh, the joke was. Uh, I La- joke- you used to do it real slow and calm. Real slow. Do you remember yeah. that? What, did you, did you? Do you still do that style? Yeah, I mean, I, I do. I do. Because you seem like more fluid here, and then on stage you go into a different tom. I'm usually like a. I'm usually a, a step slower on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would go. It's, by the way, does it still exist? If you type it in, I was just looking for it. No, not no, easy to find. It doesn't come up. No, it got okay. deported. The store. I saw. A place, uh. <laughs> I saw a place called Latino Computers, um, and I was like, Latino. You want me to do the joke for you? Do you know? You remember the joke? Hell yeah, I remember the joke. I saw a st- I'm going to do it at your pace. Okay. I saw a store called Latino Computers. Latino Computers? Is that really how you really want to sell your store? Like, these computers aren't really, aren't very fast, but they work really hard. <laughs> and then the audience would always go, ooh, and you go, hey, it's better than black computers. They don't work at all, and they just talk a bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, now I took the onus off of you. Yeah. Hey, I didn't say that, you guys. Not today. (laughs) Oh, man. Yeah. There was a, uh, I I did that joke one night at at the Melrose, I still remember, and this uh, Latino comic got fucking fired up. Really? He started heckling me from like that booth area. Right. Then in the hallway was like, I bet you wouldn't say that shit on. uh, whatever like, he thought you were white that's why yeah i was like uh, all right man like what he was you know i go sure i would i would do that joke on any show at the time i said you know do you remember the back thing do you remember this um about i think when we were doing shows in florida and when i realized you could speak spanish maybe about a year or two later i took you on the road with me somewhere and uh and i was like tom why don't you start doing those like latin shows at the comedy store at the laugh factory and i was like, no, i don't want to no, I'm not going to do that. I go, Tom, I'm telling you, it would be amazing if you did an entire act in Spanish. Oh, right. And you were like, I don't know. I don't think that's... And now look at you. Now I'm touring special, Spanish. Yeah. Special in Spanish, I touring know. in Spanish. I know, dude. Yeah, you you could see the future, man. I was like, dude, I'm telling you, it's a huge market there it's for you. It's a big-ass market, yeah. No, yeah. it's fun. And it, here's the thing. You know how after a while, like you've been doing it 32 years, there is a certain, obvious like level of comfort you have on stage yeah. in stand-up. I have a certain level of comfort doing stand-up. When I do the Spanish shows, mm-hmm. it's like you're back at like year one. Oh yeah, it's good. the The level of focus I have to have, oh yeah, like to do them is like you know. I mean, in English, I could be like, ah, and I'll try this, and if it doesn't work, I don't know, I'll do something else. But in Spanish, I'm like hyper focused. Yeah, because you don't think in Spanish. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So I really you can like, speak it, but doesn't mean you think it. That's true. And yeah. so you, I'm, I'm just like, it's good for me because it makes me like really hone in on it. Yeah, you know, it's really good for me. I was really happy to see that Spanish special come out. I mean, I didn't watch it because I don't watch that shit. But it's not I, out I, yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not out yet. No, I haven't even <clears throat> shot it. Yeah, it was supposed to shoot last year. I thought you had one come out last year. No, no, it was, they announced it, and nah. then I was supposed to shoot it. Then COVID shut everything down. What happened with COVID? I don't know. It's this thing. It's in the air. Mm. Um, 
Then they moved it. They said, we're going to shoot it this year. And then I was like, no, we're not. Yeah, so, no, no. I'm not going to do this. My first Spanish special on two weeks notice. Yeah, no. I was like, <laughs> no, I'm going to do a hundred shows before yeah. I shoot it. And so then they're like, okay, so now we're going to move it to next year. Yeah. So whatever. Do they still give you money already? Or? No, they didn't. No. They held on to the not, money. Not until it's delivered. They also were like, we're not going to pay you like it's English. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're going to get paid like the help. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're like, you speak Spanish, we pay you Spanish speaking rates, man. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and they don't even give you an invoice. They no. Just, they just pay <laughs> you cash. cash. Yeah, it's cash. Here's $1,000. Thanks for the special. <laughs> Unreal, man. Um, so before we uh, go any further, your podcast, uh, people can subscribe on Apple Podcasts, wherever they get podcasts. You're on YouTube. New episodes come out every Thursday. It's called... Culturally Cancelled with Russell Peters. Culturally Cancelled with Russell Peters. It's on iHeartRadio. On iHeartRadio. What are you guys on? I think we're on a... I mean, we're on every platform. You're everything. I mean, you guys are you guys are kind of like big dogs. You know what I mean? You got... You got... You got... Uh, you got like a whole set. You know what I mean? Yeah. I shoot in my backyard. Yeah, but that's the way to that's the way to start. That's how we do it too. I shoot in my backyard, and you see how fancy your cameras are. Yeah, we don't have those. Oh, yep. We use iPhones. <laughs> that's all you need. We don't have angles. It's just like Eddie. Yeah, my assistant. Oh, how's Eddie? Eddie, he got into a motorcycle accident. No, he's fine. He just uh, hurt his foot. But he's okay. Oh yeah, he's milking it. You know. Yeah. Yeah, he's milking it. Eddie, I like Eddie. Fucking Eddie. That's a long time that he's with you, man. And he's been with me uh, 12 years, 13 Bro. years. Bro. 12 or 13 years, 12. Yeah, one of those. That's yeah. a long time. That's yeah. Like, most people can't keep someone around that long. Yeah, I know. Well, he doesn't have any options. And, okay. And he knows too much. <laughs> he knows a lot. <laughs> well, the problem, no, I mean, he knows too many codes and everything like that. Oh, right. He knows things in my life I don't know. Right. Like, hey, I'll have to call him, hey, Eddie, I need to get money out of the bank. How do I do that? <laughs> And he's like, here's like, how I do it. Yeah. <laughs> here's how I've been taking it from you for the past 12 years. <laughs> Dude, you also, um, I've mentioned this before, but so I, I, you know, when I think back to being a kid and listening to music. How old are you now? I'm 42. Wow. Um, how old are you? 51 this year. 51. When, when, I, when we were in the UK, mm -hmm. you turned 40. I turned 40. And they misspelled Russell on the birthday cake. Correct. Remember that? That's correct. I remember and that. And Craig G performed, remember? Craig G performed, that's right. MC Craig G, Juice Crew. Shout out to the whole Juice yeah, Crew. Yeah, and then and uh, Spin Bad was still alive then. Spin Bad. Wow, right? <clears throat> spin Bad and Scratch were on that. Yeah. Man, rest in peace, Spin Bad. That was really sad. Mm hmm Really sad. That was uh, not one of my favorite times in life. No. November of last year. That was November? Yeah. Not even that long. <clears throat> then I had his, uh, he died on like November 10th. And then uh, I think like a, a, two weeks later was Thanksgiving. So I flew his his uh, wife and kids out for Thanksgiving. Just they were guys. delicious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how, are, how are they? Uh, they're good. They're good. I mean, they, you know, I'm Uncle Russell, so they're happy. They're, you know, they know they can call me anytime. Yeah. Yeah. And they do. And they do. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Unc. Like yeah. his son will come. Hey, Unc. Uh, I got in trouble at my girlfriend's house because uh, I didn't know that we weren't supposed to shower together. I go, what the fuck made you think you were supposed to shower together? He's 16. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you're not supposed to shower at her house within her house. You, you do that somewhere else. You don't do that at her house. That's a big no-no. Yeah. We did it at your house. I go, that's my house. It's not her house. Is that <laughs> <laughs> Did the dad come in? Uh. No, it's not a movie, Tom. Well, the, oh. sometimes the dad. You know, <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you meant like, did the dad come in and then? No, <laughs> fucker. No, no, no. I meant like, did the dad catch him? No, I think it was. Uh, I think I might have not. Ca I, I don't really know the details of it, but I was just like, dude, don't don't do that shit anymore. You gotta show I got, respect. In people's I got houses. caught at a park when I was like sixteen with a girl in a car. Oh yeah. And uh, police though, it's fucking your your boner goes down real quick. Oh yeah, even at sixteen. Yeah, because it was like a light, and I was like, who the fuck. And then he was like, doop, doop. And then when I sit up and the flashlight kind of moves, I was like, oh. And you see the uniform. You're like, oh, shit. And your boner goes, doop. Yep. <laughs> you're like, I'm going to jail. Yeah. But no. I had that happen to me in Toronto back in the early 90s. Really? In my car. In the back seat. And then I hear, doop, doop, doop. And you're like, oh, shit. All right. Never mind. Cops. Got out of here. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying, but you stopped me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I wanted to say, do you know another park where you guys aren't? Where's the craziest place you've had sex? Um, 
on my penis for the yeah, most part. But, mostly. Uh, <laughs> but you ever, uh, I don't know. I've had some interesting times. Yeah. I remember getting a hand job on a flight from the girl beside me, and we just met on the flight. You're the fucking third person that I've heard this from, and I'm like, what the fuck? And it was an economy. <laughs> Many many moons ago. This is a yeah, maybe about twenty years ago. So you like you you're on okay. Set the whole thing up for okay, me. Okay, I'm. <clears throat> I had the window seat, and this and and there was a cute girl that had the middle seat beside me, mm-hmm. and then there was some rando on the end, right? Okay, and she was like, "Hey, can I get the window seat?" And I was just like, I looked at her, I was like, "Yeah, you're cute. Yeah, go ahead. Sure, I'll take the middle." You know. So, so now you're a seat closer to the rando. She's at the window. Right. So you're closer also to this stranger, the guy. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, yeah. Because now but you're he's in the asleep middle. leaning out towards okay. the uh, aisle. Okay. So and where, her, do you remember where the flight's from? Yeah, it was too? from London. It was from London to Toronto. For London, England? Yeah, London, England to so Toronto. So you're on, okay, so it's a long ass flight. It was like a six hour flight. Okay. So we're talking and she's telling me she's coming back from something and she was showing me some watch she got and I was making my, my little jokes and we're talking about people we know in Toronto. And then she's like, is it okay if I put my head on your shoulder and sleep? And I was like, yeah, sure. And so she puts her head on my shoulder. She sleeps for a little bit. She wakes up and she goes, you're really nice. And I'm like, thanks. And and I'm like, and I got I got this raging boner, right? Mm-hmm. And then she she just kisses me. And then and, and she goes, are you cold? And I go, yeah, a little bit. She goes, there, get into the blanket with me. And that's when it all started. And then... Uh, Good Very times. Cool. Very cool. Never got her number, never called her, never saw her again. That is so fantastic. And the uh, first, yeah. Let's, it was great. It was great times. The, um, this dude who I know said he's on a flight. The late, it was like a late flight. Mm-hmm. I think it's like uh, New York to LA or something. And he's also in economy, meets this girl. Um, she is in, she tells him that she's engaged. Mm-hmm. Um, they have this, talk and then you know blanket thing too like they get under a blanket yep she gives him a hand job Mm -hmm. and then as they leave the like as the you know they leave the plane they're walking towards um luggage you know the the luggage her fiance is there waiting yes and has like a flowers and like gives her a big hug (laughs) that's like savage dude you know Uh, if i was him i would have been like ah let me give you guys a hand yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah yeah, there's some, yeah, you know, it's funny. There's something to be said about economy. Yeah. <clears throat> it may be uncomfortable, but you're more likely to get a hand, hand job. job. And I don't know why the I mean, that should be the slogan. That is. The, the airline should be saying that. Do you remember the movie Crazy People? Yeah. Yeah, that was, remember that movie just was all about those kinds of slogans? Slogans, yeah, yeah. It was like uh, P- Porsches for people who like to get hand jobs from women they barely know. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't got one in my Porsche. That sucks. Oh, yeah. Is that you out there? I thought, uh, what is what are all these fancy cars you keep posting on your Instagram? That's that's press cars. They're not my cars. What they give them to you to drive? Yeah, I got hooked up. My buddy Matt, um, the smoking tire. He's a he's a auto journalist, mm-hmm. and he connected me to a couple press people that were like, yeah, well, you know, you have a significant following or whatever. So, I, we so just, how long do they give them to you for? Like a day? No, usually you get like a the the more expensive the car, the less time you get it. Right, right, right. So the longest I've gotten something is like a week. Which one was that? The McLaren? No, that was a, a Lotus Evora GT. Mm-hmm. The was McLaren's. It? it was really. It's a fun car. The Lotus is a genuine sports car in that, it, you know, low to the ground power, not overwhelming power. Mm-hmm. Uh, Torquey though. Torquey handles great, mm-hmm. like a real sporty drive. No frills. Like there's no like extra shit in the car. Yeah, no GPS. Nah, it nothing. weighs it down. <laughs> yeah, everything weighs. No it air down. conditioning weighs it down. But it's a it's a fun ride. The the McLaren's. So, like, if you get, like, a McLaren GT or, you know, 620 or something, they're going to let you have it, like, four days, maybe five. The 765, they're like, we're picking that shit up tomorrow. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah. So, the 720 I got for, like, two or three days. But they're all, I mean, they're so fun. You're driven, have you driven those? You've driven a bunch of shit. I test drove a McLaren once, and I really liked it. It fucking rips, man. But I had a Porsche at the time, and I was like, I don't know if I'd be... If this would be a lateral move or backwards what kind move. of Porsche was? I had a nine eleven Turbo S, so yeah, those rip. So yeah. and I was like, I don't know if this seems like a backwards move, but I like the way the doors open and like the fact that it's not the most common car, but it's sexy. They must be on sale now because I see a lot of rappers with them. Yeah, they. It, it seems to be like the uh, 
the let me stunt on everybody route. Yeah, like you can get one for like eighteen hundred bucks a month or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's different. I mean, there's there's obviously they have. Uh, I don't think they call it the ultimate series. So they have like the P one, the Senate, like they're yeah, yeah they're not going to give those out. They're not them. giving those out. But that seven twenty S is pretty magical, man. If you want like a you want to get the spider like a convertible that's just a perfect sports car what's the ticket on that uh, i think they 300? start at like three to 350 yeah yeah i wouldn't do that it's a lot no those are that's russell a lot back a few years ago would do that but yeah russell now is like nah, a little more frugal yeah 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 well you've you've done it all already. i did it all and then covid kind of reminded me what i needed what i didn't need yeah and i got rid of a bunch of shit did you oh man was it that kind of like it was because COVID affected everybody differently for you. It was like kind of an awakening in a way. It was an awakening. It was yeah. like your monthly bill is so high unnecessarily. Yeah. And it was, I didn't notice it because I was always working. So it would always get paid. Yeah. And then when I wasn't, I was just hemorrhaging money and my accountant was like, you're going to go broke. Really? Yeah. You got to get rid of shit. So I started getting rid of shit. Would you start se like selling like properties <clears throat> and stuff? I got rid of houses, got rid of cars, watches. I got rid of all kinds of shit. And now doesn't it feel better? It it, it hurts your ego. Yeah. It hurts your ego more than it hurts anything else. Right. There's times where I look in my closet and I'm like, fuck, I wish I still had that other watch. Oh, you know? right. You know, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, there's times where I'm watch. driving and I go, I wish I had my Porsche right now. Eh, oh, well, well, whatever. Yeah. You but know. I mean, don't you feel like, because... All right. I feel more mature now. You feel more mature, but don't you also feel and responsible? Like there's so when you start to make money and you go, well, there's things I've wanted, right, or things, yeah. stuff. Sometimes you go that the uh, the pursuit of the thing, yes, is the ride, is the rush. Yeah, then you have it, and you're like, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, there's a lot of things I got. You know, I had about three Rolls Royces at one, like not not at one time, like over the course of oh, okay, you know, many, like, a few years. Jesus. <clears throat> and every time I had one, I would get rid of them early because I was like, I feel like a douche driving this. Yeah. Yeah, they're really dope to have and say, I got a Rolls Royce. But when you're driving it, you go, people look at you and you go, yeah, I feel like a dick. I feel like you get, like being an Indian guy that's cool, get more permission to have crazier shit though. Like, yeah. I feel like if I were in a Rolls Royce, people would be like, what in the fuck? Like they would not, but you would get a pass. No, because... <clears throat> I feel like people look at me and go, look at that entitled prick. And I'm like, no, I was poor growing up. You don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you, you know, you got to look at it. You got to ride it a certain way. And I just felt too old in it. What's your, what's, what kind of car? Because there is that thing about cars where like, I feel like every time I see a Ferrari. Yeah. I feel like I'm looking at a piece of art, right? Like I could, I could stand, if there was, you had a Ferrari out there. Mm-hmm. We could go and I could literally stand and look at it for 45 minutes with you. Just like you would look at like some, yeah. the Mona they're, Lisa they're, or something. They're fun to look at. Yeah. But, but then I feel like getting in one yeah. and driving it, I would feel super self-conscious. Anytime I've gotten into a Ferrari, I've hurt my balls. So I'm like, I can really? never get a Ferrari. You, like sitting on them? Yeah. Like I've it. crushed my nuts sitting, getting in. I'm like, fuck this car. Yeah. 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 There's something about it too that when you see it you usually see it driven you the guy that's driving you're like look at this fucking car. yeah every that's the thing too yeah. when i was in the rolls royce i'm like look at this dickhead yeah and i'd be in one looking at them like, what a douche you are. And <laughs> to I'm the like, guy next yeah to you. and i'm like i gotta go <laughs> 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 however i do want the rolls royce suv i still yeah i keep i've been my eye on that for a while i think that's a good it's a good play for I me i think ethan pulled up in that like a ethan couple, suple yeah. no ethan klein oh. uh the h3 podcast guy right i was he's like because yeah, He's not really a car guy. And he was like, oh, I got this uh, Rolls Royce. And I was like, what? And oh, I yeah. went out there and I was like, oh, yeah, it was that Rolls SUV. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It I was, love that one. It's nice, man. It was beautiful. Yeah, really I like nice. that. I think because it's, it's a little, it's a big ass SUV, but it's it's still not as obnoxious looking as a Rolls Royce is. Yeah. However, it does have the nice big Rolls Royce front grille. It does. It's a solid chance I'm never going to get one, but. Or not anytime soon. It sounds like it's 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 kicking around in your head. It's though. kicking around in my head, but yeah. I got other things I got to take care of first. Okay, all right. Yeah, there will be no new purchases in the meantime. You know what I did last year? I had a, a I had the Lamborghini Urus. Yeah, I remember. All I right. remember being in the uh, parking lot to stop you one moment at the comedy store, and you were inside, and I walked out, and one of the door guys was like, "I don't know how to put this into drive," and I was like, "Oh, he's hit the hit the paddle, man." And he was like, "How'd you know that?" And I was like, "Look who you're talking to," and then I went back inside. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work at Latino computers. Yeah. I used to work at Latino computers. <laughs> uh, sorry, so you had the Urus last year. I had year. the Urus last year, and then uh, I traded it in 
for the for the Audi RS Q8, which is the exact same car. Right, same like the exact the, the, same car, yeah. identical car for a hundred and fifty thousand cheaper. There you go. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do this instead. Yeah, that's great. And I, I, it didn't feel like a downgrade because I was like, once I get inside, it looks exactly the same. I'm it's like, an amazing vehicle. Yeah, man. it's the same. It literally the exact same car. It's nice to. So you're like overall a more mature guy now. Right? Yeah, I, mean, I, ha- you're still I had to be a fun, funny guy. But I'm saying like, yeah, I mean, I had to, I, you know, life when life actually kicks you in the cock. Yeah. You go, oh, yeah. OK, okay I understand now. And now you have love in your life. I got love in my life. I got a great woman. Yeah. I got a Christina. Yeah, I'm happy for yeah, you. Not man. as brittle as yours. I don't yeah, think. Hopefully. She fucking. You both of you brittle motherfuckers. We're both brittle, but she can't even take a right cross. It's fucking. I, mean, I know. You know, I know you, you can't even take a, a layup. So. <laughs> That was, I really didn't, I thought it was like some sort of stunt you had pulled. I know. I know. <laughs> How are you now? Um, I mean, well, I'm. Are you 100% now? No, 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 definitely not. Um, are you walking funny? Because you're sitting down. No, no I, walk, I walk normal. Um, I mean, you always walked funny anyway. I mean, you kind of had that little bop to you. I have a little bop. You know, little, <laughs> little, doop, doop, doop. You're almost mm. like a tippy toe bop, but yeah. do you still tippy toe? You used to tippy toe. Did I tip toe? Not a lot. Just like a little bit of hoop. Hoop. I don't know. I'm down some weight. Maybe it was just being fat that I walked like that. Oh, maybe. Yeah, you had the yeah. waddle, you know? Yeah, like a fat waddle. Yeah, like waddle you do tomorrow. Look, I got shit in my shoes and I'm trying to yeah, kick it yeah. out. Oh, what Ooh, is this? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I walk pretty normal now. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm very happy with but that. But like my, my quad is still, you know, fraction of the size, my, my left one. Really? It atrophies quick, man. It was in a straight brace for six weeks. You take it off and you're like, oh, it hasn't been used in six weeks. That's just not that long. I mean, oh yeah, Eddie was showing me on him because uh, Eddie has a motorcycle and he he was driving and a woman did a U turn right in front of him and clipped. He tried to avoid her, so she just clipped his right foot mm-hmm. and it was pretty nasty. His uh, his toe dislocated and the bone pushed right through the skin, but he never broke his toe. The bone pushed through. Bone the skin? pushed right through the burst the skin open, but never broke the toe. So they just popped it back into place and sewed him up and. Ooh. And so he's his right foot. He hasn't been able to walk on. He's been, you know, on that scooter with your leg up and yeah. everything. And uh, Christina just got that. Yeah, at yeah. The house. we have it at the house. Then it's actually pretty fun to ride around in the house. Yeah, she's really happy about it. She oh, yeah, calls but, it her scoot scoot. Yeah, tell her to be careful because they tip over really easy. Yeah, and I was like, she goes, now I can get around quickly. I'm like, no, 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 I don't want you to break your other fucking yeah ankle. So no, let's not. Yeah. So uh, he was showing me his calf is like really skinny. Now. I'm like, yeah. And Eddie's a fat guy, so. You know, yeah, it'll it'll it takes a while to come back, man. He's got one big ass calf, one Russell calf. <laughs> um, what do you think that this whole? Because I I saw you post about your your new love. Yes, and I felt like it was like I don't know. Even just looking at a post, I like it felt so genuine, and I, I immediately I was so happy for you. I texted you immediately when you yes. first posted Thanks. this. I, yes, I do. Remember. And um, we were talking about it for a long time. I was like, ah, oh, this is like this is the one for us. Like you just seen. Oh yeah, this is. Uh, but it's all happening at the same time for you. You know, you're maturing yeah. and. All. Yeah, it's all. I mean, I mean, that's all. Maybe part of it. I don't know. You know, when that when the when the, the bright person comes along, everything starts to fall into place. Yeah, and she doesn't put up with my bullshit either. You know, she's almost the same age as me, so she knows. Yeah, she's got her own shit going on too. She's got her own. Her own life, her own money, her own kids, her own house. You know what I mean? I don't have to be like, I gotta get this from my girl. Mike, she'd be buying me stuff. And I'm like, what? That kind of feels nice. It is kind of nice. As a matter of fact, I think she bought me these shoes I'm wearing right now. That's very nice. What I do is <laughs> <clears throat> like I'll I'll see those ads on Instagram. Yeah. And then like they'll always send you the things that you like. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh, that's nice. And I'll send it to her. I go, I like. And then I'll, it'll just show up three days later. And I'm like, all right. That's a good lady. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't know how to buy. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how to buy things online. <laughs> really? I have no clue. You just always tell someone? Yep. I tell either Eddie or. Get me this? Wait. Yeah. Anytime anybody, again, like I said before, anybody, anytime anybody bought me something in the past, it was usually on my own credit card. Of course. So it's nice to have somebody else's credit card. To... That's such a shit gift when someone's like, mm-hmm. I bought this with your card. <laughs> you didn't even appreciate it. I'm like, um, yeah. 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 I didn't appreciate getting the fucking bill a month later. Yeah. That's not a fucking gift. Yeah. People really did that? Are you kidding? People? Yeah. This is the first woman that never did that. Like used her own money to buy it. Used her own money. Yeah. Yeah. Now you deserve that, man. You deserve that. And her kids are grown, you know, 29, 27. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, So he's got grown ass kids. He's an adult. Yeah. Yeah.
This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by ExpressVPN. Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like taking a call on a train or a bus on speaker for everyone to hear. Don't be that person. Internet service providers like Comcast or Verizon know every single website you visit. Yes, even when you're on incognito or private mode, they still know exactly where you went. ISPs can sell this information to ad companies and tech giants who then use your data to target you. I don't know about you, but I like my privacy. I don't like them to know what smells turn me on. I want that to be for me. You know what I mean? ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so people can't peep on your online activity. Fire up the app, click one button. Rated number one, the CNET, Wired, The Verge. It works on phones, laptops, even routers. It's amazing. It's amazing to have that option. Secure your online activity by visiting expressvpn.com slash your mom today. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash your mom. You can get an extra three months free expressvpn.com slash your mom. This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by Policy Genius. Summer's here. The days are getting longer, meaning you got some extra time to see if you're overpaying for a home and auto insurance. Are your home and auto insurance policies up for renewal? Let Policy Genius look for a lower rate for you. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare home and auto insurance in one place. They can help you find similar coverage and see who has a perhaps lower price. They've saved customers an average of $1,250 per year over what they were paying for home and auto insurance. Their team will handle the paperwork to set up your new policy or switch over your current one, which I think is the absolute best part about this. They'll find you that, they'll compare the rates, and if you go, yeah, I wanna do it, they take on that work. Head to policygenius.com to get started right now. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. Um, so a lot of people who, if you don't know, you've always been able to do like crazy and incredible mimicking accents and everything. Mm -hmm. We play a game here sometimes, we call it Master of Accents, yes. where we try to actually understand what someone's saying. Okay. So I have two here. I wanna know if, if you know what either of these guys are saying. I haven't even tried yet, so. Let's find out. I take all that shit back. I said, I ain't jumping off that damn tree. I ain't jumping off the tree. I ain't jumping off the tree. I ain't going to damn shotgun. But I'm telling y'all what. I'm going to do a dub game in the morning. We're going to flip it in. We're going to go in. I'm telling you, I've been around a long time. I know I can do it. Come on in. Show me the bridge. Show me the bridge. Well, you know what he said, Tom. I mean, so. you're from Florida. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, I have a, a. I believe that's your old neighbor, isn't it? This is the thing. Most of these that we play. I'll be like, I don't know. And whenever it's like dumb Southern bullshit, I'm like, I know exactly what he's saying. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like I've heard it enough to be like, he is. So what he's saying is that somebody has done something and he's saying that he can also do it. So like he's like, when we come back in the morning, hey, I'll tell you how it goes. I take all that shit back. I said, I take all that shit back. I said, I ain't jumping off a damn tree. I ain't jumping off a tree. Ain't. So somebody else has done that tree jump thing mm -hmm. before him. And he's like, I, I, I could do that too. I ain't gonna get them a shotgun, but I'm telling y'all what, I'm gonna do a dub game in the morning. We're gonna flip it in, we're gonna go in over. I'm telling you, I've been around a long time, I know I can do it. I know I can do that See, thing. That, that part we all understand. Yeah, it's been so, around a long time, I know I can do it. Yeah, so what he's saying is, though, that like he's, he's certain of himself that he can do what someone else is, has clearly telling him, I bet you can't. He's like, show me where the bridge is, I, I can do that thing. It's probably like a flip off of this thing. So in the morning, we'll come back here, and I can do it. That's what he's saying. Come on in. Show me the bridge. Show me the bridge. Yeah. And show me the bridge. Or show maybe you're singing James Brown. Take it to the bridge. Take, take, take it to the bridge, man. <laughs> um, and then this other one. So that one wasn't that crazy, but this one, I, I don't know what this guy's saying. I take some bullshit. People are going to talk shit about me. I can't handle this bullshit. People like that don't know who fucking me. Don't fuck with Zach the Ripple. The Ripple will break your whole fucking hair off. That's what Zach the do. Break your fucking hair off. Oh, that was easy to understand that one. Really? Yeah, he said, I'm sick of people talking shit about me and don't fuck with Jack the Ripper or I'll rip your fucking head off. For real? Yeah, listen. I take so much bullshit. People are going to talk shit about me. I can't handle this bullshit. People are like, I don't know who they fucking with. Don't fuck with Jack the Ripper. The Ripper will break your whole fucking hair off. That's what Jack the Ripper do. Break your fucking hair off. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what we'll do. Rip your fucking head off. Yeah, he got it, man. Come on, this guy. This Wild. He, but he, he's, I'm telling you, he really is. 
he he knows accents. That guy's that guy sounds Cajun as fuck though, doesn't he? He does. Oh yeah, <laughs> he does. He does. <clears throat> uh, I wonder if I can find. Hold on. I wonder if I can find. He's Cajun, but does not eat cage free. <laughs> People talk shit about my. I'm not telling you, man. And, and fuck, fuck him, man. Don't fuck with Jack the Ripper. I, I, I fuck a head off. That's what fuck we do around here. We rip the fuck a head off. Dude. I believe that's what he said. I think you got it. Uh, I'm looking for. Let me see if I find another one here. Master. Bader. Let's see. Oh, this guy. I don't know what you're talking about. I've been in the joint. If I, got caught, if I had a gun, I'd be going back to your floor. What the hell do just know him, my friend? I don't got no guns. He's a turtle shell again. This one I understood. Because again, yeah. it was dumb and southern and white. Yeah, and, and that guy, what happened to him? You know, <clears throat> the funny... He's only 14. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just is what happens when you don't go to school, man. You know, this is the importance of lotion, guys. <laughs> that is, yeah. He's basically just saying, of course I don't have the gun because I've already been locked up and I don't want to go back. Um, this one. The wall, no need to be up. No, in that's why Mexico. is that label? Well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's not, not an accent. <laughs> that's an impediment. Hey, these guys labeled it. And that first one just of all, slipped through. He, and first of all, he said the wall does not need to be up. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel Your bad. Is the couch wide on shit? You fucking blue like a coward. You need to leave. You know those Aussies, man. They're fucking. Is he Australian? I don't know. Is he? I don't need to hear him again. Um, hold on. Because there's too much echo in this guy. They yeah. recorded it in a gym, like a bunch of goddamn. Hello. Pretty quick, I like and swimming. I don't. Wait, that's not an accent. You guys yeah. are. Why are these labeled master? Why this is bad? I can't remember. God damn it. So he's really trying to get canceled, huh? <laughs> Just really have the whole community come out against you? <laughs> Remember when See, I called we've you? We've got a fucking waterfront. Oh, okay. Fucking a 20 minute journey. It takes me to get to work, and it just took me an hour and 15 minutes, and I I'm just not this. at work yet. Yeah. I've had to pull over and calm down. Yeah. That one's She's from uh, the north of England, just for the record. Okay. A 20 minute journey took me an hour and 15 minutes to get to work and back. Is this hey. one? I'm on the I'm on this all hot for free shooter challenges and whatnot. No, so he's just he's English as a second language. Yeah, yeah, so but let's hear what his first language was. <laughs> <laughs> um you guys had a lot of things that should not be labeled. <laughs> <laughs> My friends, all the doobies, shout out for this? Jimmy Lee oh. Weir, who's up in the muse. Jimmy Lee, say hello to everyone. Hello to everybody, I got a cup locked in the yeah. yeah. That's our wee Jimmy Lee. That's Jimmy Lee that you're introducing you to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's that's their little wee Jimmy Lee. That's wee Jimmy Lee? That's wee Jimmy. There's nothing wee about him, by the no. way. No. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm just still I'm just still laughing about the people that you're like, those aren't accents. <laughs> Hey, remember that time I called you about uh, White Claw Gabe? Yes. <laughs> yes. Because yes. I'm good friends with White Claw Gabe. How are you friends with him? So White Claw Gabe, <clears throat> matter of fact, does not live far from here. Really? Yeah, he lives right around the corner from here. <clears throat> you know who that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've Fuck. played him on the show before. Yeah, yeah. a few times. <clears throat> so White Claw Gabe is Nick Turturro's wife's first cousin. Okay. Okay. N you know the actor Nick Turturro? Yes. His Phenomenal wife, actor. Elisa, is, is Filipina, uh -huh. and w White Claw Gabe is her first cousin, and he lives with them. Oh, okay. So Gabe is literally at my house about two, three times a week. Really? Yeah. So you're really good friends with Nick? I'm or good friends with Nick, his son, his daughter, his the whole family. It's like, it literally, they're like family to me. When they, you know, when, when they come over, it's like your family's coming over. When we go there, it's like going to your family's house. You know? Wow. It's very, uh, but Gabe was just Gabe. And then he discovered that he liked White Claws, and we jokingly called him White Claw Gabe. And I would always see him, hey, White Claw. And then he was like, hey, White Claw, yeah. And then <clears throat> we, we, we created his Instagram account. His son, Nick Jr., Nick the Third, Nick Nick. Yeah. He, he started. But Gabe lives with them, and he just, does he 
just hang out? Does he chill? Yeah, you know, he's... Uh, he's like, it's the weekend. Fuck, it's the fucking weekend. Yeah. Fuck. Like, I keep telling him, Gabe, you got to stop saying fuck so much. Some of it sounds unnatural. What does he say? He's like, yeah, I don't like saying it too much. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So he doesn't have an accent either, if you know what I mean. No, no, he doesn't have an accent. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's... Uh, he's uh, He's on the spectrum. You know? Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. But he's a great kid. He's, yeah. He's, he's going to turn 50 this year. In yeah. November, Gabe will turn. White Claw's going to turn 50 in November, and I'm trying to get White Claw to sponsor him. <laughs> Dude, that would be amazing. <clears throat> It'd be great for them. <clears throat> oh, my God. Um, what did I also want to show you? I wonder how annoying my fucking throat clearing is to your listeners. They're going to say something. Yeah, I know they are, because I'm aware. But here's the thing, guys. I just woke up like a, a, two, an hour and a half ago. And <clears throat> I just did eight shows, so I'm decongesting. My my yeah. chest is a little chesty. Your chest is chesty. It makes sense. You did two last night? Two last night. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Irvine, too. Yeah, so I want to... Did you stay down there, or did you drive back? Oh, weekend. There? Yeah, I stayed down there. I'm All not right. driving back and forth. Fuck that. I know, that drive. That's a, that's a... No. I'm doing it in September. Oh, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, This was sent in. This is a, a guy... I guess he's mad at the lady on the street for having a party that um that shuts down the street anyway he just <laughs> this is so funny. why weren't we notified you were going to shut our street down i pay more property tax than anybody here i can't get through here it's a one way sweetie yeah that's yeah i know your fucking sentiment bitch so now we can get straight to it ho let's get straight to it ho i go around for your party let's get straight to it ho I don't have no parties where I block the street, ho. What you talking about? Get the you fuck out my face. You need to calm down. Document that. Substantiate a party where I block the street, ho. Substantiate a Substantiate party. Substantiate that, ho. I don't like it. That's why I know you on the other side. Do not call me a hoe. You are fucking filthy, ho. Man, her nostrils got longer in that one. They did. <laughs> they did. <laughs> she looks like Bob Hope from the side. Look. <laughs> Bob Ho. <laughs> you came over here to patronize me, bitch. To I, I carry a gun everywhere I go. I haven't said nothing to you about a gun, and I've been recording the whole time since I've seen you, bitch. So don't try nothing slick. Where do you think this is? It's a white guy. But where do you think this is? Um, not here. Definitely not here. That's Louisiana. somewhere. We know what you was from the jump, you five dollar ho. Look, fuck all you, your, bitch. Fuck you, <laughs> bitch. Your privilege is extinct here, ho. Your privilege is extinct here, ho. Get the fuck, bitch. Get the fuck, ho. We ain't asking you shit, bitch. Oh, there's a black what authority yeah. did we got to ask you to move on our fucking street, you oh, old geez. trifling fucking ho? <laughs> trifling fucking ho. I thought it was a white guy for sure. Yeah. Ho. Yeah, fuck your mama, your plantation, Miss Daisy, ho. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's pennsylvania or something with that plate i know yeah the plate is but then she's got some southern ass gear on oh yeah it looked her. like a church sunday for her yeah for sure man he's really really fired up about this party man zero to 60 real quick substantiate oh, yeah. this party ho <laughs> substantiate this it doesn't stop patronizing stop me it. substantiate that hoe <laughs> you guys I ain't scared of none of you bitches. Oh, he's nice gonna just harass the party. He's doing a drive-by harassing. You're staring like you got an issue. I wish you would, fuck boy. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? He was scared because he waited till he got a distance from that he guy did. before he said it. He did. Motherfuckers ain't running New Orleans. Oh, okay, the fuck we're... back where you from, bitch? Unapologetic. Oh, oh damn! I'm not running for office. He looked like a to bumblebee. To fucking get rich, my first thing or a fly. on my he looks like a fly. He does. Is that I'm going to donate? He looks like he's wearing his mother's glasses, though. Those don't look like men's sunglasses. I bet you he took it from that fucking church lady. <laughs> There's like there have Substantiate been those, my eyes, ho. Those days where you get in the car and you're like, you need, and you're like, fuck, and you're in your woman's car and you're like, yeah. I guess I'm wearing her glasses yeah. today. Just to Today's a Fendi kind of day. <laughs> yeah, that's what it, that's what it looks like. Forty percent of my fucking salary back to my community in real time on video. We gonna cut this double standard bullshit out. This dude, man, he looked like he used to be fat and lost weight. Yeah. Tom, you know about this guy. Yeah, I now, know. I feel I look like exactly like him. No, but he looks like a fly. Get it? Can you guys put a split screen of a fly beside him? See if we can 
Make us match up. Oh, that, look at you, ho. Listen to me. Don't substantiate that, ho. Don't patronize me with your don't glasses. Don't patronize me with your glasses on, bitch. Just for a party, too. That's a lot, man. Yeah, I like that. He just did a drive-by harassment. He down harassed the, the fuck out of A walk-by harassment. <laughs> 504, them boys. God damn. Um, since you, I feel like you know so much. Like I, you make me feel like I don't like hip-hop. <laughs> because <laughs> I thought I did until I talked to you about it. And I actually love it because I feel like you're uh, an, an encyclopedia slash almanac slash trivia fucking machine with it i'm a dork for it it's intense with you like it's so deep your your knowledge is so deep um do you have anything you're excited about in today's hip-hop today's hip-hop not really still no i mean i'm waiting there'll be somebody someday there's a lot of guys out there that can get busy a lot lot of girls out there getting busy too you know but you know, as far as making an album nowadays, nobody's really making an album. I mean, yeah. like very few artists are making an album. Yeah, Ghostface is one of the guys who always makes an album. Yeah, and Ghostface albums are always dope. They're always good. Raekwon albums are always dope. Yep. Um, Red Man, Red Man albums are always dope. Yeah. You know, there's certain people you can count on their album being dope, no matter what. Yeah. Are you friends with uh, Red Man? I, uh, you know. Somebody got me. <laughs> sorry, somebody got me a fucking cameo from Red Man for my birthday. Really? Last year, and uh, I'll show you it. It's funny. I feel like there's a hundred people in your phone book that could be like, "Oh, hey, Red Man, just call Russell." <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's why when it got sent to me, I was like, "Why did you waste your money on this?" Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could have. Yeah, somebody could have Facetimed Red Man for me. Where is it? It's coming up here. Okay, we got it. Hold on. Oh, here it is. <laughs> you you see can it? you can airdrop it. If you airdrop it, Red Man in the building. No, airdrop it. Yeah, airdrop, airdrop it. it to YMH iMac. Okay, hold on. And they'll uh, they'll be able to pull it up. Let's see if you. Uh, Let's see what happens, kids. Tell me if you if it comes through. There to you. it is. Coming through it up. Yep. Bam! Look at this. Uh, you're so modern, Tom. Hey, man. You know how we do it. This is funny because <laughs> my buddy Darby sent got got it sent to me. Um. Do you, by the way, you know uh, uh, ICP? Insane Clown Posse? Uh-huh. I don't know them. But um, you know that that dude, Shaggy Two Dope, uh, broke his arm on a on a slide and it's on camera? I did not know that. You want to see it? Yes. I haven't seen it yet. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Ow, parkour! I broke my arm! Oh, shit. My arm's broken! God damn, he ah! sure did. God Jesus. damn, he's too old to be trying all that juggalo shit still. Oh! Oh! Parkour! Jesus Christ. What was he wearing? Wooden shoes? <sighs> shit. There comes a time. There comes a time. Yeah, this is not. I mean, listen. I used to enjoy listening to ICP just for the lyrics. Yeah. Just because it was so ridiculous. Uh huh. I would listen to them and I would listen to D12 for the same reason because I was like, just the shit they'd say. Remember Bizarre would always say things like uh, uh, something like jerking off with razor blades or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, I was like, it was like, what is this? And they say crazy shit too. Yeah, they say crazy shit like that too, yeah. Yeah. Remember they tried beefing with Eminem? I vaguely remember that. It was like a late 90s, early 2000s. They tried Because they're both from Detroit. And then how'd that go? Not well. I mean, we know who Eminem is and you got to ask people if they know who ICP is. That's true. Yeah, but damn, I feel bad for him breaking his arm. Yeah, Fuck. that that was a bit that was a big old bad break, and that he's a, about fifty years old, so that's yeah. not going to end up so well for him. No, god damn, and just for fucking around on a slide, man, go play basketball. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, like a gentleman. Would yeah. you would you injure yourself properly? Yeah, Jesus. Uh, all right, so here's Red Man. Let's see. Red Man in the building. Ah, shit. Russell Peters. Happy birthday, my dude. 50 years old. I know exactly who you are. No one had to explain to me who you are. I think it's I think it's a privilege to wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> you turned to half a century years old, and like I tell everybody, my brother, because I just turned 50 this year, and you've been in the game putting in work for years. Only thing I could tell you, because you can relate, is 
that you alive. You healthy. You made it to another birthday, Russell, you piece of shit. <laughs> you made it healthy and alive with your family, and that's all that fucking matters, bro. You've been helping out a lot of comics. I've seen the comic tour you went on, and you had the comics out there made that a up. couple of years ago. Uh, it was a, a, a special you had on on one of the cable channels. So you definitely put in work. You definitely help a lot of people out. So it's a privilege to wish your stinking ass a happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> I know All you're right. a hip hop fan. That's uh, Reggie Noble, man. That's Reggie the Noble. Because Reggie Noble's getting pissed. He, I mean, dude, he's the shit. Have Did you, you get seen... a new album? It's really dope. No, I it's should. Really dope. Is it? Yeah. Are you hip to Black Pumas? Black Pumas? Yeah. What do you mean? They're a group called Black Pumas Mm-mm. from Austin. No. They're fucking dope. Really? They're not hip hop. Oh, okay. <clears throat> but they're dope. All right, I'll check out the really Black dope. Pumas. Yeah, really dope. Good for driving. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll do it. Uh, yeah, write that down for me. Um, and, and Salt, S-A-U-L-T. S-A-U-L-T. Salt. Yeah, they got a really dope song called Wildfires. Write that down for me, please. I'm going to get you hip to the game, kid. Uh, I'm in, man. I'm in. I love checking out new music. Um, Reggie, wait, wait, what was I going to say? Oh, he and Method Man. Have you seen the fucking workouts they're doing? No. They're fucking animals, man. Well, like, like Method. They've both always been in good shape. They've always pretty been pretty good guys. But now they're like jacked. Like he's doing pull ups with like weights hanging off of them. Meth is deadlifting like 500 some pounds really yeah like they're doing like heavy weight man yeah i'm gonna i haven't been to jujitsu in two months and i'm dying without it so really i'm going back this week you uh, you really enjoy it right no i love it how because you grew up like when i well, i learned about this when i started hanging out with you that you were really into boxing right yep. do you still have a love for boxing or no? watching it now <laughs> but you don't ever do you like to do the training like you know not like sparring but like well, to mitts? me if like you're gonna do it you might as well go spar i mean okay that's kind of like any anybody can go learn how to hit mitts. There's a lot of people online who have really these great mitt work, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, wow, he's so good. And I'm like, in the ring, motherfucker. That doesn't yeah. work in the ring. That's not the ring, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and when somebody's throwing punches at you, it's very different. A lot of these guys, when they're holding mitts, they they go over the head this way. Mm-hmm. And I never had, coming up, my coach would never go over. My coach would go straight for your head. Straight for your head, yeah. It was always like, pop. And you're like, oh, fuck, okay, duck, duck more. Yeah. You know, but... You know, it looks good. This this is a generation about optics. What do you think of the state of boxing? Uh, it's like, really interesting right now. I mean, do you feel? Do you are you of the opinion that these celebrity fights are making a mockery of the sport, or is it like, who cares? It's still bringing attention to the like to what's better, and you know, no, no, no. it's not. It's bad. No, it's bad. It's bad because you got a lot of these kids coming in, and we're, we're raising a generation of trolls. Yeah, we're teaching kids that if you're a troll, you can get paid. So you know the Pauls, the Jake and Logan Pauls, they're just the start of it. Yeah, you know what I mean. They're they're not even like as bad as it's going to get. Yeah, like they may be. You may you look at them now and go, look at these scumbags, but they're not even what's. They're the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, you're gonna have a whole generation of trolls underneath them that are gonna be far worse than these two. You're gonna be begging for Jake and Logan Paul at some point. You think so? Oh yeah. And you think that, it, do you think that, because I, I actually, I watched the uh, the Mayweather fight. Yes, so did I. I watched it and actually thought, you know, I gave, I gave him a lot of a credit for for just stepping in the ring. No. No? You, you didn't feel that at all? No. Really? I feel he, he, listen, he knew, even said so, he knew he had no chance against Floyd Mayweather. Sure. But he talked himself into it. And the fact that he was able to talk himself into it shows a generation of children and kids that if you are a good enough shit talker, mm-hmm. you can make things happen and you're going to have a lot of full of shit. We already have enough full of shit people out there. How easy do you think Floyd took it on him? Uh, Floyd took it pretty easy on him, which I was a little disappointed with. I thought I personally thought Floyd was going to chop him down and he was going to kill the body all night. Yeah. And he was. He was banging that liver. And then then because the, the, the job is you're going to bang the liver. Eventually, you're going to want to drop your right hand to protect your liver. Yeah. And then you're going to leave that chin open. Then you come over with the left hook. And yeah. but that's not what he would do. Touch him with it. He was touching him with it all night. But, but you didn't even really. think any you didn't think any of his athleticism. You're like, oh, you know, his kid's decent. Like, for no, he's in great shape. He's yeah. a big old Ohio kid. Yeah. He's six foot two. The guy's fucking jacked. Yeah. You know, but again, if 50 professional boxers 
couldn't beat this guy. What makes you think this kid no, took of a course, of boxing course. five years ago? Is gonna, yeah. That's like me going, yeah, you know what? If I train hard enough, no, I'm going to get my ass kicked. Yeah. I get my ass kicked by both Logan and fucking Jake Paul, right? You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's a different world. They don't really understand. A lot of people don't understand that boxing is not about size or look. It's about skill. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, it's like the same thing with like TikTokers. I think they're going to do stand up. That shit's hilarious too. <clears throat> it's yeah. the same thing though. You know, yeah. remember when kids on Vine were doing stand up? Yes. I remember hosting at the improv one night. And, and they're like, and they tell you you're bringing up somebody? Yeah. That was the thing too. And they're like, you bring him up. What's, what do I say? And they're like, he's big on Vine. Yeah, that's this kid. This kid was like, uh, what do you want me to, I said, what do you want me to say about you? He goes, uh, tell him I have over 500,000 followers on Vine. I go, no, seriously, what do you want me to say about you? He goes, hey man, that's a big deal. I go, okay, pal. So I bring him on. He eats a fat dick on stage. Yeah. I come back up and I go, whatever his name was, I go, give it up for whatever his name was. I go, apparently he's really good for seven seconds at a time. <laughs> I'm sure he loved that. Yeah, well, fuck him. Do yeah. you know who he is now? I no. still don't know who he is now. No, no I had a couple people and they were like, yeah, uh, big Vine following. And I was like, that's what you want in your intro? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's your credit? Yeah. You All downloaded right, an app? Okay. <laughs> this guy's got great app sense. I mean, then then they were like, when when Vine went away, they were like, Tell people, though, that I used to be big on Vine. <laughs> I yeah. was like, okay. Yeah, tell them I'm about to be big on Instagram. You got it, man. Hey, good news. We're, TikTok is the new Vine. Whew. Um, do, you, do you do self-maintenance? Do you do like uh, massage, um, uh, you know, like skin stuff? Do you do anything like that? I do that? my skin stuff by myself. You but do? I, I should get more massages. It's good for you, especially if you're doing jujitsu and you're rolling all the time. I haven't rolled in two months, but I woke up this morning. My head felt like it was 1,000 pounds. Really? Like, I was close to calling him. Like, dude, I don't know what the fuck's going on in my head, but my head was killing me when I woke up. Yeah. My neck and my head. I don't know what the hell. Here's what it looks like in Russia. Just so you get <clears throat> Imagine this kind of massage. Oh. <laughs> That's not a <laughs> massage. Oh, boy. I don't <laughs> know what's going to happen. <laughs> God damn, dude. And we think we're going to beat them in a war? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, do you notice that with full hammer smacks, that guy doesn't even like yeah. flinch? He's just yeah. like, just staying there in the it's, pocket. It's what we do. <laughs> and the room is padded. <laughs> it is. I didn't notice that. It's a padded room. It's in a fucking padded room <laughs> with a telescope looking outside. <laughs> fuck, they don't fuck around in Moscow. What kind of crazy there? snipers do they have in that city? Dude, they, oh my, the Russians. Zoom in on that table. What's on that damn table? Oh my glue? God. Glue? Is that glue bottles? <laughs> You ever like, seen? They look like glue bottles or like dude. little plastic Klansmen. What are those on the you table? Know, you know how, like, here in the states, you know, a cop can like say something the wrong way to you, or, like you know, grab you he shouldn't have, and then you can uh, you could have a, a video leak on, you know, go online and you can file a report, and they could be a like in I saw a show once where they had a, a camera crew following these Russian cops. They like they saw a guy they were looking for, like at the mall, and they're like, you know, he's over here. And a cop ran, like into the food court, ran, jumped on the table, and just popped off the table and kicked the guy in the face, like just pow, kicked him in the face. And other guys came, just clubbed him. You know, there's no, yeah. you're not gonna be like, hey, yeah. they used excessive force. Yeah, his like, borscht went flying. Yeah, it's. Just, <laughs> it's H. Oh, he feels that one. <laughs> okay, he feels Yeah, of that. course you fucking say wah. <laughs> There's no way that's the right technique to use that with. No way. Yeah. I mean, at least he's using a mallet, you know? <laughs> and not a hammer. Dude, how much would that fucking hurt? H. Oh, H. Oh, H. <laughs> and he has to say shit when he does it? Yeah. And why does he look like fucking Abraham Lincoln? <clears throat> the guy doing it. This is for the Ford Theater. <laughs> Please find more stuff from this guy. Please. Do you follow Look at This Russian on Instagram? Yes. Yes, uh, yes. So do I. Yeah. That's. Hey, do you like my posts? Because I'm very sensitive about that. Do I like your posts? Yeah. I don't know. Do I, do I don't I? know. You better fucking start liking my posts. Okay. Because <laughs> right I look for that and I go, this motherfucker. 
damn it. Oh, yeah, you you did. You did like it. Thank you. Good. Okay, we're clear. Okay. Christina doesn't like them. Okay. I'll talk to her. <laughs> I'll straighten her out. Yeah. And if she doesn't fucking start liking them, I'll throw her down the stairs yeah, again. I mean, I mean, I hope she doesn't fall again. Yeah. You'll you'll have a word with her. Yeah. About her stair technique. Her stair technique. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was so funny. This summer, get the most out of your travels abroad by learning the language of your destination with Babbel, the number one selling language learning app from ordering in restaurants or asking for directions to gaining a deeper understanding of the culture. Babbel makes the whole process of learning a new language addictively fun and easy. With bite-sized lessons you can actually use in the real world, Babbel is a can't-miss travel essential. Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Unlike the infamous language classes you took in high school, Babbel designs their courses with practical, real-world conversations in mind, things you'll get to use in everyday life. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective, with Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use the promo code MOM. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Code MOM for an extra three months free. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Whoop. We all want to make healthier decisions. We want to sleep better, eat better, live healthier lives. And you know what? We want to know what's going on with our body. The incredible thing with Whoop, the fitness track device that helps you solve all these questions, is that it gives you those insights. You input what you're doing. It tells you how your body's responding. You'll see how strained your body is, how much recovery it's going through, how much sleep you need. And it even has a sleep coach and a strain coach to let you know when you can turn it up. You can get all this great insight for less than $30 a month. It's absolutely amazing that you have this, this like portfolio level insight. Like you're looking at your stock holdings, but it's all about you. It's your body. For our listeners, if you've been thinking about giving Whoop a shot, there's no better time than today. You can save 15% off a Whoop with the code YOURMOM. Go to Whoop, W-H-O-O-P dot com. Use the code your mom at checkout to save yourself 15% off today. Know yourself with personalized recovery strain and sleep insights from Whoop. All right, before you go, a few tick. Christina, you always do a good job. <laughs> of Hey, can I get one of those Tom Segura Garth Brooks shirts? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Send me send me the address. We'll ship we'll ship you I've some. I still got my Sub Kane shirt. You do? Yeah. I love the Sub Kane shirt. Yep. Yeah, he's the man. You got to come do my podcast one day. I'd love to. You know I'd love to. Yeah. I wanted to get you and Bert on it. Um, that's possible in uh, late July. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I'm going to get you and Christine if she's able, if she's mobile again. I mean. <laughs> Bring this, Christine. It's Christine's on point. She just says the right amount, you know? Not too much, <laughs> not too little. You know, you should, uh, you should have a button that you could push. So that every time you look at her mouth, it goes, oh, yes. <laughs> apparently you do have a button. You can I do push. have a button. I heard you bitches was looking for me. Okay. <laughs> bitch, here I go. So Christina <laughs> finds some of the, it's always a ride. Crazy TikTok. <clears throat> yes. I remember this. So I'm going to play some for you, you know, just see what she's got here. Let's see what she, happens. She curates these. Here we go. Hey, oh, are they any females on here? Wait, isn't this from the other one? 18 looking for a sassy hunk like me. Ugh. If you are, uh, uh, be a TikTok woman. There you go. Well, that's, uh, that's a that's shower curtain, or is that a hospital behind him? That seems like it's kind of a hospital. That's oh, yeah. I forgot to ask you this. I don't know if you told this last time. I told this story yesterday or the day before. Uh, to a friend of mine who had traveled to the Middle East, mm -hmm. your King of Jordan. Oh, when he uh, punked me? Yes. Yes. It is one of my favorite stories. That's a, that was a, was a good time. Will you tell me that? Yeah. I, I forget some of the details. All right. So this was about 2008 or nine, something like that when this happened. And you're going to do a show and he was going to go, but couldn't go, right? Yeah. I did a show out there and he couldn't go because he's the king. He right. can't just show up at a friggin' comedy show right <clears throat> but he was a fan so 
he invited us over to the palace for dinner after the show after the show and um so me my brother my brother's wife gabriel iglesias angelo sarukas um there was a couple other people i can't remember who but we all went to the palace and we go downstairs he has this teppanyaki room Mm -hmm. with a teppanyaki grill and he's cooking us dinner the king of the king of jordan's cooking us dinner and it's and first of all, it's the it's literally the best steak I've ever eaten in my life. I'm like, yeah. God damn, this is like yeah. we're eating like royalty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they had like a whole display out there, like Oreo cookies, all kinds yeah. of like you name it, they had it sitting yeah. there for you. Anyway, long story short, it starts getting late and we're all hanging out, having a good time, and the queen says good night, she goes to bed. Queen Rania, she goes to bed. And my brother looks at me and goes, hey, we should go. If the queen's going to bed, we should probably right. get out of here. And you're leaving the next day. We're leaving the next day. <clears throat> so I say to the king, I said, hey, uh, Ab, we're going we're gonna to get out of here. He goes, why? And I go, oh, because, you know, we got an early flight in the morning and you know, the queen's gone to bed. I don't want to overstay my welcome. So what time's your flight? I said, our flight's at 1030. He said, I said, we got to be there by like seven. We got to leave the hotel by seven. He goes, why so early? He goes, because we got to go through all the customs and all that. And he's like, uh, no, you, you can get there around nine thirty. I go, <clears throat> I go, uh, I'm, how am I going to do that? He goes, I'll call the airport. And I'm like, I, I, you forget that he's a king. Yeah. Because he's so cool when you're hanging out with him. You're like, this guy's so cool. Yeah. That he seems like a regular dude to you. And then he's like, I'll call the airport. And you're like, all right. Yeah. It's, it's named after you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's. That's right. It's Royal Jordanian Airlines. You're the Royal Jordanian. I got yeah, it. Got it. Yeah. All right. So I go, you sure? He goes, yeah, get there at 930. I have people walk you right in. So me, my brother, and uh, my sister-in-law leave. I think Angelo stayed, if I'm not mistaken. Angelo and, and Gabriel stayed. Gabriel stayed for sure. So the next morning we get up. We get to the airport at 930 in the morning. There's these People that meet us at the corner on the curb, they walk us straight in the building up to this private room. And it's like all of us are sitting in this room now, this big giant room. And we're like, wow, this is cool, huh? And it's like 935 now. You know what I mean? We're like, this is so cool. We're like, we're just chilling. They come in, they take all our passports. And uh, and then some, we're all sitting there. When you want tea, coffee, whatever, we're just chilling, all looking at each other like, this is so cool. We're like last yeah. night we went to the palace and... Today we're getting this VIP treatment. So, and then uh, this guy comes in. Look, you know, looks like a Arab villain guy. You know, yeah. with the mustache and everything, and the heavy eyebrows. And and he comes in. He goes, "Which one of you is Russell Beater?" And I'm like, "That's me." And he goes, "Come with me." And I'm like, "Who the fuck is this guy talking to?" Right? Yeah. And I'm thinking, I'm looking at everyone like, "Hey, I think the king came to say bye to me." Yeah. He just doesn't want to make a big deal out of it, so he just wants me to go say bye to him. I'll be back, guys. Yeah. So we're walking, and he goes, you have a cell phone? And I go, yeah. He goes, give me it. And he snatches it out of my hand. I'm like, this motherfucker. Now I'm getting a little bit of an attitude about it, right? Yeah. He's like, you have other one? I go, no. <laughs> I did. Add it in my pocket. Hiding, right? I go, no, I don't. And he goes, so he st- we start walking down these stairs, and he's in front of me. And I'm thinking to my because he's got a, kind of an attitude about him. I'm thinking in my head, I'm going to choke this guy out from behind Yeah. while we're going down these stairs. But all right, I don't want to make a big deal out of it, so... We go down the stairs, and then there's like three guys with machine guns at the bottom of the stairs pointing at me. We come down like, pop, click, click, and I'm like, oh, shit. No, 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 it's me. And I'm thinking, oh, this must be the, the king's security that came. They're just, you know, making sure. I'm like, no, no, it's okay, guys. It's me. I'm like trying to play it cool. Hey, guys, it's me. And they're like, they're just following me with their guns. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? This guy takes me into a room, and uh, it's like an interrogation room. Mm-hmm. And he's sitting behind a desk. I'm sitting in front of him. And he starts asking me questions. Where were you last night? And I go, huh? He's like, what? And I look over on the side and I see a camcorder under a blanket. Like he's recording the thing. And all I kept thinking in my head was, that's an old ass camcorder. Yeah. Yeah. So he's like, where were you last night? I goes, I was out. Because I got an attitude now. Yeah. He goes, uh, what were you doing? I was out. Where were you? Uh, I was with some friends. Which friends? I go, what do you mean which friends? I go, I was at the palace. Which palace? And there's a picture of the king behind him. And I go, I was at his palace. Who? Him. My king? Yes. How do? How were you with my king? And I go, because he's my friend. 
And I go, you want to see pictures? I go, give me my phone. I pull up a picture of me and the king. And he goes, how do you know my king? I go, because he's my friend. And he's like, why were you out so late? Where, who, who were you with? What were you, like all these questions. Yeah. And I'm like, the fuck is going on here? Are you right? nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm yeah. nervous because I don't know. This guy's getting a little bit of an attitude, snipping him. And then, uh, and then I hear in the hallway, hey, don't point that shit at me, fool. And Gabriel come, Fluffy comes in the room and he's on his phone. And he's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. I go, Gabe, what the fuck's going on? And he goes, <clears throat> hold on. And he gives me the phone and it's the king. And he goes, never be the first to leave one of my parties again. You just got punked, bitch. <laughs> Yeah. That's the best, man. You yeah, and, but here, you're going to understand now, the flight's leaving at 1030. Yeah. It's now 1025 when all this is happening. Like, I'm like, I'm going to miss, I'm starting to get nervous because I'm about to miss my flight. Yeah. Like, this isn't funny anymore. I'm like, I'm going to miss my flight. And then they walked us straight onto the plane. They held the plane for us <laughs> so, the, so that the king could do this prank on me. That's wild, man. There's nobody with a story like that. And subsequently, him and I have become really good friends. Seriously? Yeah, we text each other and, you know, like, how you doing, man? I'm good. Yeah, I wish. Can't wait for this COVID thing to be over. Ugh, Israel. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> no, we never do any of that stuff because he's like, don't ever text me any of that shit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so have you, uh, have you gone to Jordan again? Yeah, I've been, I've been again and I've gone and hung out with him. And then That's so crazy. When I was living in Hidden Hills, he came and visited me one time. What? Yeah. So before he came, he said he was going to be in town. I said, why don't you come to my house? And he was like, okay. And I was like, really? And so like two days before, he, uh, the day before he came, his security detail came in and swept my house to make sure there was nothing. Yeah. And then an hour and a half before he came, they came and set up a perimeter around my house. Wow. Yeah. And he came over. And he came over. That's so insane. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty wild. And him and I were just walking around my property and talking. And Wow. I was going through some different shit at the time. And I was asking for his advice on it. You know, like just regular shit, like guy talk, you know? Yeah. It's, he's, the, he's the coolest guy in the world. Yeah, that's so cool, man. Um, all right. Back to Christina's nonsense. Sorry. <clears throat> now let's see what Christina has going on. Yeah, Christina. <laughs> that was a really cool story about the King of Jordan. Let's see what you pulled. She didn't like that at all. That was at the wedding. <laughs> yeah, she, she finds all these depressing wedding that talks. Is, well, why does she have such big fake lips already? Oh my god! I Maybe don't that's know. why she didn't want to kiss them. They're still sore. She's so pissed. What's oh. that? Bro. You know, wow. different people get excited by different things. Yeah, this guy would get really excited by a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> I had two hot dogs today, boys and girls, and I'm hungry now. And it's 12.48 in the morning, and I'm still hungry, and I am still not a dog. Did nope. he say he had 12 or two? I think two. Looks like he had 12, but he had two. Yeah, because I heard two, and then after looking at him, I was like, did he say 12? Because <laughs> his face looks like a 12. looks like a one on this side and then a two on the other side. <laughs> it it looks, does. He literally looks like his face is saying, I want 12 hot dogs. Jesus Christ, man. <clears throat> hey, it's fucking Johnny Dozen face. Well, good morning, my beautiful queen. Time to wake up. It's your big day. It's your birthday. Oh. My very own beautiful slut muffin. Slut muffin. I love you. Wow. You will always be my favorite. Ugh. And Nick loves you. He loves you oh, more than anything. He loves you more than the day you met. Oh, the light change. Ooh. He says your ass is beautiful, Ooh. and it will always be beautiful to him. It's breathing Your king heavy. loves you, my queen. And his, you have a good day. His chest looks like my ass. And I love you. <laughs> you get up and have fun. You guys need to jump on my page and wish her a happy birthday today. Today's her birthday. I love you, my queen. 
Wow, this is the worst OnlyFans I've <laughs> ever seen. <laughs> Mind that, me to unsubscribe. <laughs> God, man. That is... Hmm. I don't know. I'm a little different. Con- I'm a little concerned that I'm erect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's he's breathing real heavy in that position. I can't breathe. Oh him, no, sorry. Him, yeah, no, you're <laughs> fine. All right, oh, my boy. queens and kings above eighteen. This goes out to my queens. My very own beautiful slut muffins. Jesus. It's time to cuddle down for the night. This is his own term now? Cuddle down for the night. You can fucking daylight behind him. Yeah, and his eyes are swollen shut. <laughs> and his head looks like it's melting into his body. Grab your special king <laughs> or grab your special queen. Kings, you too. Grab your special queen or your special king. I, we got it. Jesus Christ. I'm never touching my special king again. <laughs> my name's Jody Jordan. Oh, God. If there's anybody out there, I'm looking for females. Huh. It likes me. I'm 47. Oof. This is what I look like with glasses. Uh, without glasses. Hold on, is that Superman? Clark Kent. It's what my chest looks like. Uh, uh. What my arms look like. Okay. I'm very sweet. I love women. Okay. God seems, damn. These seems, are so depressing. He seems really sweet. You know? Yeah. Like in a psycho kind of way. <laughs> I know. I'm really sweet. Also, and I love women. They taste good. To <clears throat> to put it for that to be your like go on a dating pro, like app. Well, this is a this is the American dating app TikTok. Really? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, just like to, for you to think that this is is going to lead to love. It's not going to lead them to people rational people like us. It's going to lead to people that think that's the thing. Right. That's the world we live in now. Right. We ha- too many weirdos have access to be other with other weirdos. Yes. So I think it's eliminating loneliness, but at the same time creating more weirdos. Yeah, you're right. Yes, yes. you nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a math equation. Baby girl, when you see I thought that this, was it's time for my pudding pop, baby. You know, I like doing that. Am I wrong? <laughs> Did you for a second yeah. think it was? Yeah, yeah. And, and then you know me. I get to put and pop and get up, brush Sound my like teeth, him. and walk away. I love doing that. That, for that you, face man. right there. The Promiscuous girl. <laughs> hey, man. He's all jacked now, though. He fluctuates, too. Yeah. He's in our camp. Yeah. He's a fluctuator. He's a, he's a fluctuator. Yeah. Keep making hits. Have you, have you ever hung out with him? Timbaland? No. Yeah. I don't know him at all. I'm really, you know, the thing is, I feel like I gravitate. <coughs> my interest is more as the longer I live in. I want to talk to producers more. Really? Just, yeah, because I, I've always been more into the sound mm-hmm. of what yeah, I'm listening I was, to <coughs> than like, w- like when people are like, people talk about songs and they go, you know, this song, and I'm like, oh yeah, and they go, you know, the meaning, and I'm like, I never thought of the meaning. I just thought about how the song sounds to me. As a DJ, when I was because de- uh, I DJ, you know, um, yeah, I would always play instrumentals more than I would play the vocals. Yeah, because sometimes I was like, I don't like what he said there. Yeah, so I'm just gonna play the instrumental. The beat always made my head bop. Sometimes I um, I'll, especially like with newer music, let's say music of the last ten years, I'll hear something and I'll be like, oh, this this is dope. And I'm talking about the the, the vibe, like the the feeling of the song. I'll play it like a hundred times, and it's not until someone else gets in the car and they start going like jesus these lyrics and i'm like oh i never really paid attention to the lyrics it's the same thing with reggae growing up yeah um listening to reggae in toronto because everybody's jamaican yeah um you don't realize how homophobic some of the lyrics were and you're really? like and you're singing along like yeah but them on for dead and you're like oh shit i'm no i didn't mean that guys yeah and, yeah yeah and so it's super homophobic <clears throat> oh my god yeah it was uh, it was really bad at one point reggae was like that Dance hall. Dance hall stuff? Dance hall. Like blatantly. Slackness, them call it. What does that even mean? Slackness. It's just like, you know, slack kind of music. Okay. And you know, it's kind of loose. Okay. Yeah. And it, and it shits on gay there's people. A, there's a lot of, there's there's plenty of songs out there. Really? Boom Bye Bye. Yeah. That was about killing homosexuals. Really? Yeah. Boom Bye Bye and a Bati Boy Head. Shoot him in the head. Yeah. All right. None of it. None of it was good. I mean, the songs. The songs were catchy, but you look back and you go, "Wow, we're really part of a fucked up generation." Damn. Shout, shout out to Sadat X. Yeah. All right, let's move it along. <laughs> Don't blame Dottie. 
right. All right. A lot of people are sitting here talking about my wife. Okay. Wow. These are all. You guys things. remember this video? Bro, bro, bro it up. That one. When I said if you touch my girl, I will hurt you. I'm not playing. I, mean, I have hurt somebody before. Many people. I may not. I may be a crazy white boy and don't look that much intimidating, and sit there and may not have that big of muscles. Or I get in other ways, buddy boy. Trust and believe that. Can I tell you something? I'm a Detroit boy. I believe him. I believe he does crazy things. Yeah, he <laughs> he'd lose the fight. He's the guy you'd beat up. Yeah. Then he comes back and stabs your entire family. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then hides the knife in between his eyebrows because. When he's talking, it turns into a butt, and he can film from perfect crevice to hide shit. <laughs> Watch when he's talking. Watch his eyebrows meet. It looks like an ass. Detroit, Michigan. Oh, yeah. Rep for fucking Zent. Okay. Come at me and my wife. I dare you. Nope. I'm good. Because. I'm not. I'm definitely coming That's a beautiful wife. woman right there. Wow. Say what, and you, what, and, say what you want when you've had four kids and 15 years of depression. <laughs> Motherfuckers, that's not right. <laughs> well, one way to beat depression is get somebody crazier than you. Yeah, that definitely helps. <laughs> Fuck, we're almost done. What? Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's one of those remote control ones. Is that what that is? It's one of those remote control uh, alligator heads. Oh, really? Yeah. I think I would have so much fun with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see the little blast yeah. underneath. Yeah, that's pretty great. That's a fun prank. <laughs> You're gonna get one, aren't you? I'm definitely getting one of those. Yeah, takes you right back. She has no problem of having more than seven husbands. Okay. When it's time for making love, it depends on who I want. I'm the one who chooses where to sleep and make love. Because I build each and everyone a house, I visit whoever I want, and I satisfy their needs. There is no husband who has ever complained about anything, and none of them can dare try cheating on me. My superpowers control it to me. Okay. Interesting lady. She's got a leopard pelt on her shoulder. She's the boss, man. She is. What's on her face, though? Is that a tattoo? Mind? What is that? One of her seven husbands she's, dry jizz. Yeah, what she's it? working seven decks regularly. Yeah. Mm. She's literally the meaning of 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. Seven, seven guys with 11 inches. That's a Damn. <laughs> you know those are some big dicks there, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's not like anybody's like, I can't follow that guy. Like, <laughs> yeah. bring it on, baby. <laughs> um, a reminder. Uh, Russell's podcast, which is... Uh, what is it? Cancel? Culturally canceled. Thanks for remembering, Culture, Tom. Of course. Culturally. <laughs> I thought it would be in the write-up. Culturally canceled. Um, you can su- subscribe on <laughs> Apple. <laughs> he loves rap. <laughs> uh, subscribe on Apple Podcasts, wherever they get their podcasts. Uh, also on YouTube. New podcasts come out every Thursday. I hope I can do it soon, man. That'd be fun. That'd be good. Yeah. You know, I'm around all week. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. You're here. I know you're here. Wife's not here. You're, you're living life. What do you think? Yeah, she's into it. She's into it. All right. It's a big old, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, always good to see you, man. You too, so Tommaso. It's fun. It fun. Thank you for coming today. Thanks for making me come. Uh, I love when you come. <laughs> uh, we'll see you soon. Yes. Thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Make sure you go see Russell live. Uh, check out his podcast. And here is Get That Booty by DJ Knucklehead. <laughs> This is a classic. You feel, huh? Just let me eat you one time. I'm coming to get that booty. Big booty or a flat booty. Just let me eat you one time. Big booty or a flat booty. I'm coming to get that booty. Huh? One time. I'm coming to get that booty Big booty or a flat booty Big booty or a flat booty Big booty or a flat booty I'm coming to get that booty
Y'all know what's a banana split, huh? We gon' use your booty and put some corn chip, some ice cream, and put some popcorn. I'm coming to get that booty. Huh? One time. I'm coming to get that booty. Huh? That was a roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> that was something, man. The unspoken internal monologue of every red blooded heterosexual male. Ay, ay, ay! I'm coming to get that booty, huh? Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. Please continue to watch more. You can see all these where my hand's gesturing. You can click on those. And please subscribe if you have not yet. And subscribe button, and then we'll get your money. Thanks.